He said that where I come from, people. Where did he say he was from again? From the jungle. <laughs> Judging me and telling me no, that's not possible. I want to show kids growing up like I did that anything is possible. I'm the living proof you can succeed. Do you think you've had that impact on young people who are in your position? Hundred percent. Because where I came from, with my background, if you look of the the history, like the in my game, my football game, there were not a lot of players with different background that would make it or that would get the possibility or the chance to just to show themselves. And and I'm happy that I I went through all these walls just to open the door for the next generation. So I open the door, they have to step in. So. I cannot talk for them, I cannot, uh, uh, prepare, I mean, do the things for them. I just opened the doors and I had to go through a lot of <laughs> to come where I am and to show everybody that it's possible and make them accept also that it's okay, whoever you are, to give you a chance. Then I talk Sweden because that is my base. Then obviously you become a global person and, and it spreads out because for me, we're all the same, but still different. So. All of us has the same possibilities to make it, but then it's up to you also, whatever you want to do. Tell me about your parents. Um, your father, first of all, Sefik, he was a caretaker. Yeah. Um, I was interested that he, he suffered quite a lot of torment as a result of the war in Yugoslavia. Um, it affected him quite deeply, I think. Have you ever had a chance to really talk about that with him? No, because he never spoke about it with me. I, I had to... So I was living with my father. We were like five children my, my my brother passed away my big brother a couple of years ago i have two bigger sisters that i don't have contact with uh, i have another bigger sister than me that we have the same parents it's a big mix eh? <laughs> and uh, we still have contact contact and my little brother we we still have contact today but i was living alone with my with my father and in the beginning was okay because I mean the father he did every my father did everything to to survive to to bring in money to to pay the bill to pay the rent to make me feel happy he did his maximum and the best out of the conditions that was there and then the war started started then he was more distance from me because he kept everything away from me and uh, and he took it very hard because I remember like. It's no secret that my father was, he drank and he was sitting there with his phone, tried to reach out for the family members. I don't know what was going on because I was pretty small at that time, but, but I could see. And often what you see stays longer than what you hear. So, but we never discussed about it. He never put me in between. He tried to help family members. So fugitives came to Sweden, family members, and he helped them and he put his name on it. And, and I remember he was up during the night and that always with the, on the phone and uh, tried to help out. But I was, I was young and I was crazy. I was wild. I was out. I was playing football a lot. I still had the discipline to go to school because if I would not go to school, my, my father would smash me, which is which is normal in our world, so... How would he do that? No, he would, he would become aggressive. He would, he would make sure I do it. He would not hit me. My mother would hit me. She really? was the one hitting, not my father. My I read... Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Dude, YouTube was like enough violence. <laughs> Throwing in that. Wait, what? He said his father would smash him, but his mom would be beating him. So, I don't get what he said. So they both, so they both smash him. <laughs> Is that what he meant? Maybe he meant that his father would just push him against the wall but not hit him. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe his mom hits him, just hits him and his dad beat the shit out of him. I don't know. Okay. A tag team? I think the dad said you you go smack him because he won't come out alive if I do it. Your mother used a wooden spoon. Wooden spoon and hit me. So when that would break, she would say to me, "Go buy a new one." But 
but I didn't break it, you broke it. <laughs> but it was still my fault. How many spoons did you have to buy? A lot, a lot, a lot. Then it came to a certain moment, like, how do you call the thing you put, when you press the bread, like, the round. When she came with that, like I ran away. Rolling. Yeah, yeah, then I ran away. I said, this is too hard, this, you cannot touch me with But for well, us, what, was what, normal. For what, us, was normal. I understand, but it, there'll be people... Damn, there. that's crazy, dude. That shit is hard. Yeah, that that is definitely ghetto, dude. What the hell? Experience yeah. Back from their parents. Do, do you feel that you carried mental scars? Oh, no. Now people might come for his mom. That's abuse. They're gonna cancel his mom. I know, he's just exposed her. Rapino is coming for his mom. Be sure to check out our other reaction of Piers Morgan. No, being hit no. or not. It made me stronger. It made me stronger because now when I'm a parent myself, I understood what my The iron booty. Is he promoting domestic violence? What the hell? Parents went through and uh, and it's not easy. I mean, we live now in 2023, different conditions. I live different. I can come with a suit, whatever, for this kind of a moments. They, could, they couldn't do those things. My mother had five children. She was a cleaner, your mother. She was a cleaner. She brought home probably, I don't know, in pound, like let's say a thousand euro and to feed all these five children. And, uh, and she was working from from seven to four. So we went to school. I have older sisters. I had older brother, but my bro big brother was from my father's side. So he was not involved in my mother's case. And she had to feed everybody and it was not easy. And we were all young, crazy and wild. So it was not easy. So that was her way to, to put the discipline on us. But if I would go back and say, it's not okay. No, I would say it was okay because it made me who I am today. And I understand in many eyes is not okay, but on, under that conditions, different mentality, different approach. They're from Balkan, ex Yugoslavia, and uh, he's like, this is lion mentality. The young life, <laughs> survival of the fittest. This is discipline. Cold hearted, no sympathy here. Started from the bottom. It's different mentality, and it's normal there. In some countries, it's not normal. It's, I mean, you can even sue or whatever you say. What's your relationship like with your parents today? I'm closer with my mother. With my father, it's, it's, it has been like it was before. Not so close as my mother, because it's two big egos. To, I am my father, so when he fights me, he fights himself, which he doesn't understand, because I am like him. He made me who I am. So let's say he, he would come in my garage and I have a, it's not secret, I have a lot of nice cars. And he said, what are you doing with those cars? cars you, you should sell them. I said, listen, you do your thing, I do my thing. So he triggers me, he, he, he challenges me, but I am like him. Is he proud of you though, for what you've achieved? Yes, he's very proud because when, when I became professional, semi-professional in my team in Sweden, he started to hear, he had his living room, only pictures of me. It was like a museum. So he got a new perspective in life to follow me, to, he would give me even advice how to play and he would say he was good at the game, but <laughs> it's okay. He's, he's still my father. So I would listen, but still do my thing. And he would be the first one to, to criticize me, to complain. So even if I would be, let's say, out of balance on the field, which he would also be, he would be the first one to say to me, it's not okay. You need to have discipline. You need to respect the referees. When I would attack the referees, you cannot do that and all those things. But he's talking to himself now, so. But you learn, it's a learning process, so. There's a story I, I love about you and your dad. That he bought a, a, a bed from Ikea yeah. to bring home. And you couldn't afford to, for it to be brought home for you. So you, you both carried this bed. He carried the bed. I had to carry the, the side things of it, which was... And you carried it all the way back right, from Ikea? Uh, all the way back. So he would, he would say, we went to buy a bed because I said to him, Papa, I'm growing. I need a new bed. Okay, let's go buy it. And we went to buy it and uh, it would cost money to transport the bed to home. And he didn't have the money. 
And I was like, what do we do now? I carry it. And he started to carry it and he was walking and I could see him getting pumped, adrenaline. And and I was walk, uh, walking behind him with the, how do you call the side things of the bed? Like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Whatever. And uh, and I was slowed down because I was I was still small and not strong as today. So bed frame? I would slow down and he would get angry with me because I was slowing down. And he said, hurry, hurry. And, uh, and he was getting angry for me for slowing down. So I tried to catch him and to stay with the same rhythm, but obviously I couldn't because it was heavy. But it took us one and a half hour to come home to carry the bed so he would do everything god damn he paid he paid once he gave all those hustlers, hustlers dude he traveled to a training camp exactly. even though he could barely pay the one. oh dang who's the real lion here his dad the original lion he was lion king slada still simba so he made a lot of even though he was this macho guy and that maybe gave you that streak as well he was also a father who tried to give you everything that he could he gave me everything he gave me everything and uh, he even gave me more than than he should because like you the example you gave he paid my football trip instead of paying his uh, paying the rent for our apartment so he would delay it one two months and uh, he just wanted us to have good have had but with discipline eh? with discipline and mentality of so basically, Slatan became Slatan because of his dad. No, but his dad paid his trip instead of his rent. Maybe he did see something on him. The original lion. That was the moment where the dad said, he's surpassing me. He'll bring it back. Nobody knows this part of the story. Slatan only tells the part where he made himself until now, you know? Like he tells his dad's... His dad's part. himself. His dad made him since the beginning. This is the guy that carried the bed one and a half hours or whatever for him. So I carried the bed frame. And couldn't keep up. <laughs> couldn't keep up. <laughs>